Okay, I think I did it. Hello everyone and welcome. Now for some of you, it's been a little while since I've done a reaction in general on my channel. But for Doctor Who fans specifically, it has been a very long time since I've reacted to Doctor Who or have done any Doctor Who related content. It's 2021, there is a New Year special of Doctor Who out and I am so excited to watch it. I mean, Doctor Who is my favorite show uh, anyway, but the fact that it's the new year, we get this little gem is so, so sweet. Uh, but before we begin, I want to tell you a little bit about what I know going into the special because I don't want to just start my reaction and be like, oh yeah, I knew that, by the way. The only two things I know is the title, which is The Revolution of the Daleks. I think it's Revolution. If it's not, it's something along those lines. So Daleks are going to be in it, and then I know that Captain Jack is going to be in the special. Now, then again, I could have told you Captain Jack was going to be in the special the second I got done with the Series 12 finale, because there's no way you get John Barrowman and only have him in it for like five minutes in the middle of your season. No way. So that's the other thing, and I think this meme currently on my screen kind of just shows what everyone's reaction is to Jack being in this <laughs> being in this special. But yeah, that's all I know in terms of spoilerly, spoilerly uh, information going into this. Some predictions slash hopes. Um, I hope a lot of time for the Doctor has passed uh, because I would like to see the Doctor go into a place that we haven't seen this current Doctor go to yet. So I feel like that would be very interesting to watch. Um, in terms of the fam, I think minimum it's been a few weeks since the events of the series finale of series 12, and then max it's been a year. But I don't think they would go any further than that. I, I think it might be in like the one month range of how long it's been for them. Um, I would also be very curious to see where the TARDIS team is at at the end of the special because we'll kind of know who's going to be traveling with the Doctor at the end, because it's going to have to set up Series 13. I think there will be a change. You know, it's it's very rare to have no change in structure after two seasons. The only two seasons, you know, after two seasons, it, it, it's normally some, some changes in the air. We all smell it with Doctor Who, because it happened with Amy and Rory, with Rose, and with Clara. So, you know... Well, there might be some mix-ups, I don't know, but I am super excited to watch this. Uh, yeah, and this is probably going to be a really hard reaction to edit, so future Shayla, proud of you in advance. Oh. Ah! Wait, is this from last year's? Yes, it is! Huh, I wonder if anything bad is going to happen, guys. Do you think so? I don't know. Oh no. I expected something to happen with the Dalek, not because he wanted some tea. Ah! Uh, why? Uh. Hi, Doctor. Well, she looks very over it. And then now, uh, holy shit! Holy oh, shit! Okay. Very excited about that. <laughs> dude! It's a dude! Oh, oh it's a pating! Oh. <laughs> Hi, guys! Yes. Yep. Oh my! Good. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
You don't think this creature just looks a little bit scary? Or like a little bit threatening? Oh, no. Which way is my room? You don't have a room. You've never had a room. I've had a suite with its own cocktail lounge. About the lone Cyberman? You didn't give it the Siberian. Oh, sorry. What? I fixed it. Eventually. Why were you in prison in the first place? Evading the Jadoon. Twice at once. And once I was in, they took 7,000 other offenses into consideration. They stopped at seven? Hey, I was in space jail. <laughs> Guess who got her up? Hey, Silver Fox. It's just, it's... It... The signal that brought you here? Oh, Explain. my! First, I want to meet who's in charge here. Fuck this guy! You don't have to trust me on this, yes? When have I ever let you down before? Not the thing to say right now! <laughs> I won't disappear again. Yeah, you will. One day you will. Oh wow, what a great shot. Stood up to the invaders on behalf 
No. We're gonna get some goodbyes right now. Uh. Sorry, lost track of time. When Cooper sends her love, by the way, <laughs> says she took out a Dalek with a moped and her silk <laughs> boxing gloves. Whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna stick around on Earth and catch up with her. I'll call you. <laughs> Where? Bye. I think I'm gonna stay here. Yeah, go on, Ryan. Oh! Wow, okay. Very, very interesting. I it's so good to have her back, isn't it? Yes, it is. Go it is. Doctor Who fans, a special announcement coming your way. I don't know if I... Do I want to know that special announcement? You know what? I'm just going to not listen to it. I probably will figure it out or will know about it because there's no way of avoiding it considering we're probably not going to get the new season for a little while. That might be the announcement date being like, hey, we're going to be back sometime soon. <laughs> um, okay. Wow. What to talk. So, so much to talk about. Literally so much to talk about. When uh, my camera stops after a half hour of recording, and actually let me make sure before I get... Okay, just wanted to make sure that this wouldn't cut off my ramblings. As I was saying, my camera shuts off after every 30 minutes, and when I got done with the first 30 minutes of this episode, I realized how much have already happened, and then another 45 minutes went by, and so much more happened. I think the pacing of this episode was really well done. Nothing ever felt too slow or nothing ever felt too fast. It was all needed for the story to flow the way it did. I really like this. I like this better than last year's New Year's special or two years ago. Wait, two years ago or last year? Two years ago? Two years ago, right? Okay, uh, I'm getting my times all timey-wimey, you know. Um, okay, what to talk about first? So much happened. I know I'm going to miss some things that I want to talk about, but I'm going to try to say all the things that come to my mind. So it's going to be a whole bunch of ramblings, as it normally is. So, um, Doctor in Prison. Let's first go there, and that's a nice jumping off point to everything else that happened in this episode. Doctor in Prison. She was in there for 19 years, right? Minimum 19 years, or maximum 19 years because Jack mentioned having to find her and having to construe this whole plan to get her out for 19 years. So if someone more knowledgeable or someone that picked up on something that I am not knowing right now could let me know if 19 years was the maximum amount of time that she spent in there or the minimum amount of time, that would be awesome. But we didn't get a lot of her in prison, but we did get the rotation, you know, that sort of loop that she had to do every day, waking up, eating that weird sludgy 
cube thing, uh, going and being in what looks like just this huge cage thing, and there was a weeping angel, there was an ood, there was a pating, there was the silence, like so many things that I never thought that we would see again, we saw, and it just, it blew my mind. It was amazing. Oh my gosh, first seeing the weeping angel, I was like, ah, I would love a weeping angel. When's the last Weeping Angel episode we got? Was it Matt's last episode? Like, even though that wasn't a specific, we did have that little moment with Clara at the beginning, whenever they first went down on Christmas. But before, like, we didn't have any with 12, right? Or am I really not remembering? No, I don't think we had anything with 12. So the last Weeping Angel-centric was, it was with Amy, it was Amy and Rory's last episode. Oh, I think we should get another one, you know? I mean, they cause awfulness, but they're fun. They're a lot of people's favorite villains. We also saw an Ood, love a good Ood. The silence, again, or that one thing that I can't remember, wink. Um, and a little pating that I knew that, that I know that so many people love. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we had that, and then the way that they introduced Jack was so casual and so like, oh, okay, this is happening now. It was very, very, not like how they brought him back initially in last series, uh, where it was kind of like, oh, oh, what, 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 you know, this was just, this is happening, you know, this is happening, let's roll with it, and I loved it. And the doctor got so many hugs. She never hugs, and she never gets hugs, and the fact that she got so many in an episode, I bet people are really happy about that. But seeing Jack and the Doctor again, and the whole, did you get work done? You could talk. Great callback to Ten, um, Ten and uh, Jack back in uh, Season 3, Episode 11, Utopia. I'm just really pulling out that, that modern new knowledge right now. Um, loved, loved seeing them together again, seeing them run together. <sighs> So, so sweet. And then on Earth, we had the whole thing with, what's the guy? The asshole guy. I'm not even going to figure out, I don't care about learning his name. I'm going to call him asshole guy. You all know who I'm talking about. Asshole guy uh, was coming up with these plans to, you know, make a Dalek security force, which, you know, messing with a Dalek always goes great, as we can tell from this episode and the multitude of episodes that we've had with Doctor Who. Here's my thing. Does London not remember them at all? I, I, it's, I know it's been a while, but come on. You know, the last, I mean, the last major Dalek invasion was Journey's End, right? That was a big thing. Did everyone just forget? Like, wh why, were, why was no one going, hey, you know what? That looks a little familiar. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, okay, so backing up a little bit, we had Yaz, who's been in the TARDIS that they got from Gallifrey when that whole last uh, season finale happened. She has been trying to find the Doctor. There's sticky notes and note cards and strings and all of the things. And if I were to have guessed anyone doing that, it would have been Yaz right off the bat. Because Yaz, I mean, as we can tell, she is the one with the Doctor now is more uh, infatuated, some might say in love with the Doctor. Yaz reminds me a little bit of sort of like Rose in a sense where she has been shown all these wonderful things and shown what she, you know, shown all these wonderful things and then met this person that just lights up everything for her um, and then doesn't want to leave. You know, so they have that same sort of common ground um, aspect, and that talk that Jack and Yaz had, I think was really needed for Yaz as a character, because this doctor hasn't talked about her past at all. Like, literally at all. Um, bits and pieces, obviously the fam ha has known a lot more recently, but nothing... Nothing to the extent that I think other, even other companions don't really know a lot, but this, this has been very sheltered, I think. Um, but I like that Jack, who we know, we have this knowledge of Jack through Doctor Who, through Torchwood, through everything, and knowing who he is and talking with Yaz, I think is such a great uh, writing portion of the episode, or a great plot point that will 
probably lead to some more conflict or some more story in the next series. Um, we also got a mention of Rose and I was very, very happy about that. And we got mentions of so many different things. Like just, you know, seeing the doctor and Jack, you know, be with and have to fight the Daleks again is already so layered in so many things. Um, oh, what else? What else? What else can I talk about? There's so many things to talk. I like the push or the shove that Yaz gave the doctor after she was 10 months late. I said no more than a year. I think at the beginning that was my prediction. Um, I, I, I was, I mean, I was leaning towards like a month. 10 months, you know, is a long time. At least it wasn't. How old Amy was Amy? 14 years, I think that's what the whole thing was. 14 years in the end. Um, at least it wasn't 14 years, you know? You could be <laughs> happy about that. Doctor would be like, well, actually, one time, yeah. Um, the, the TARDIS is, the, the piloting is not always reliable, as we all know. Um, but I like that shove, and I think going into next series, and I'll talk more about that later, we'll, we will get a much closer dynamic, and I'm so excited to watch it. Um, and then, what else? Daleks controlling poor Leo. He just didn't know what he was doing, and then he did something really bad, but he didn't know what he was doing, and then he died, and then he had kids, and then... Oh, that poor, poor guy. I felt so bad. Ah! Mm. It's just, ugh. and then the Daleks. I, the I think the cinematography for the past two seasons has just been amazing. I'm a big fan of just certain shots and how things look and colors and all that things. And this episode really just sparked all of that love that I have for the show again, um, especially with the last two seasons and their elements of filmmaking. Uh, we could talk, oh, let's talk about the doctor. Let's talk about the doctor and Ryan's chat. Um, I like that Ryan called the doctor out on not saying anything because the doctor is very well known for just being like, oh, everything's fine. Let's, you know, go, hey, look over there. That's a thing. Let's go look at that thing. That was, that's very much the doctor, but I'm glad that Ryan caught her out on it, called her out on it, and they, they had a little talk, and I think the doctor knew right away after, I think the doctor picked up pretty quickly that, you know, Ryan was going to leave, but I like that. The one thing that I think will feed into next series is the anger that we saw. Much more angry, you know, even with a uh, resolution that happened, the last New Year's special, she was angry, but kind of like a tempered sort of anger. This, it was more physical, you know, even whenever... Ryan asked how she was feeling about everything. She said angry. So it's going to be interesting to see that going forward in our adventures and also with Yaz, how that will change things between them. I don't know. Um, so much happened, so much happened, so much happened. I just like seeing Jack back and him using the gun. And then the thing, it was like the doctor dances, those two, that two part in season one. It was so great. And then Yaz calling Jack out was awesome. And then, ah, uh, Oh man, Jack is so cool and I'm so happy he came back and I hope that he comes back again. I don't know how well or how soon that'll happen because, you know, the world is currently in the... Uh, I think that's a great way to describe everything is currently in uh, um, So I, and I don't... John Barrowman getting to film or going to film is hard and I get that, but I'm glad that we got... I'm just glad we got it back. I didn't think he was ever going to come back. Or if he was going to come back, it was not going to be the way that it was. And it was, and it was amazing. And we got a little mention of Gwen Cooper. Um, glad she's doing well and she's still kicking ass. Um, I don't know a lot about Torchwood after uh, the end of the uh, live action show. I know that there was... Um, stories like audio stories but i'm glad that she's still out there and that jack is gonna go visit her it's gonna be great um i do hope we see jack again with this doctor um more because i just i, I like it i like it a lot i always like seeing jack with the doctor it's something it's something very special um very uh the daleks were just the daleks and crazy scary all that fun stuff um, now I think I'm just gonna talk about the change in the, change in the TARDIS team. The change in the TARDIS team. So, if I were to have guessed going into this, who, if, if I was like, oh, you're, you're keeping one. I'd be like, well, Yaz is obviously staying, and Ryan and Graham are going. 
which is exactly what happened. Um, I think I picked that stuff. We, we all kind of were already guessing that, especially because last season we had these moments with Ryan going like, oh, like, uh, how long is this going to continue, that whole thing? But Yaz has always been very much, I'm staying. Um, so, uh, it sucks to see them go, but I am happy for a change. I always like seeing a change, and even though the Doctor doesn't like change, even at the very end when Graham and Ryan were walking out the doors, she was like, oh, maybe I can go back and fix it and all this stuff. Um, yeah, I was like, it's okay to be sad and accept this, you know, it's okay. Um, but it still sucks to see, though, the bike riding scene was so, so great, and I loved it, and then seeing Grace was great, it just, it got me a little teary-eyed, <laughs> it got me a little teary-eyed, I didn't expect to get a little teary-eyed, but got a little teary-eyed, um, but yeah, I, ugh, I re-watched Doctor Who during this hiatus, um, like, literally, I rewatched. I watched it with a friend. And, um, re-watching season 11, I don't hate it as much as I thought I did. I actually don't mind it as much as I thought I did. I know that might be a controversial opinion. Um, but watching it a second time, I mean, I understand the flaws that people have with it, and I even have some a bit like, ah, oh. um, but it, I think it gave me a better appreciation for it, and a better appreciation definitely for the companions. Um, so I'm glad I rewatched it, and Graham is just so great, and he's, oh. Bradley is awesome. The way that his voice breaks and during very emotional scenes is so good. He's so good, and Ryan became, through rewatching one of my favorites. Like, he, he just wants to help, and he wants to just be there for people, and the fact that he has finally found his place on Earth, and found out what he wants to do, and he's gonna do it with his granddad, oh, it makes me very, very happy. Um, and I am super stoked to see the, uh, the, the uh, relationship between Yaz and the Doctor be focused on. You know, I've always wanted to see Jodie's Doctor 13 with just one companion, and the fact that we already have an established character who already has so, there's so many feelings there already, and we're moving on to this next, ah, oh, that makes me very, very happy. I'm very happy it's going to be Yaz. I'm, I'm stoked about it, and I hope people are too. I really hope, I wonder what, what do you think about that going in, the comments, what do you think about Yaz and the Doctor going into series 13? Um, I don't know if we're gonna get series 13 this year. I do know that they're filming. Um, I know that's gonna be eight episodes, I think that's what it was, because of everything that's going on. And just the fact that they're filming and able to make this show right now is just, like, I'll take what I can get, because a lot of things have been paused, um, you know, rightfully so, because of everything that's going on in the world. Um, but I, I, I'm just, I'm just happy that I got to watch a new episode of Doctor Who, and I'm probably gonna rewatch it. And I'm excited to edit it. It's probably gonna be a bitch to edit, but I'm super excited. And I'm excited to talk to you guys about it and have all the comments and, you know, see people's theories and all that stuff. And uh, maybe I'll do a live stream soon where we can talk, you know, in real time about everything. But yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go. My voice is very, is starting to get a little raspy from talking for so long. Um, but yeah, that's everything. Thank you for watching this with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. So that's something. Um, I hope if you didn't enjoy it as much, I hope my reaction brought some, brought you some new perspective and that you, uh, like it just a bit more than what you did before. But, okay, that's it. Um, see you guys. I don't know what Doctor Who thing next will be, to be quite honest, because I don't know. Um, might do, again, might do a live stream, might do something fun soon. I don't know. I don't really have any plans other than getting this up and stuff, but, uh, yeah. Okay. That's everything. Thanks. I already said the thanks for watching, but I'm just gonna, it's gonna be a loop. It's gonna be a loop. Okay. Um, well, eh, mm, okay. Have a, have a safe new year have a safe i hope everyone stays safe and stays healthy this year um yeah and just you know enjoy enjoy the enjoy the moment and enjoy the days okay um that okay i'm just uh, okay i'm gonna be in a loop this is gonna be a loop i got I